Hi everybody, welcome to Pro Tips. My name is Dave Dahl from Martin Guitar. Today we're going to talk about something pretty cool. Uh, I've talked before about bracing patterns, um, you know, specifically scallop bracing versus non-scallop bracing and sort of tonality, what that can do, um, how, you, how you can sort of um, shape the sound of a guitar with braces. To take that a step further, one thing that comes up a lot is, you know, which bracing pattern is better? You know, I mean, I don't like to talk in terms of better versus something else. You know, everything obviously it's up to the individual which one sounds better, right? But one of our district sales managers actually had a really good idea to talk about this. And his idea was, what if we take the same build of a guitar? So for example, Mahogany Dreadnought, and we just change one thing on that guitar and uh, compare them. And what he decided to change on these is the area or the location rather of the bracing. So you may have heard of forward shifted bracing uh, versus standard shifted bracing versus rear shifted bracing and how it affects how the guitar sounds. Now the interesting thing to think about with this is, you know, I, I've talked about this, I was recently uh, at a clinic, doing a clinic in Amsterdam and we were talking about this. We're in an interesting kind of part of our history because we have this, what we like to call a tone thread in all of our guitars. And the, car, the guitars all kind of have this sound that we've created over you know, the course of almost 200 years of guitar building. But right now we're trying to you know, continue to research and develop, right? but continue having that sound that we've made. But, you know, a century ago, they weren't really concerned with the sound so much as the guitar was developing, as music was developing, the guitar needed to develop along with it. A lot of the changes that we've made over the years were really due to just, you know, now we need heavier strings. So for example, in the 1930s, uh, forward shifting the braces was the standard uh, location for these braces then. As music changed, um, strings got heavier, the guitars were starting to belly a lot behind the bridge, so they moved that back to give a little bit more support. And it changed the sound a little bit, but you know, they were happy with the sound of it, but happier still with how the, you know, the structural integrity of the guitar you know, it stabilized itself. So, I mean, you can see those changes over time a lot of different ways, you know, the, the adjustable truss rod, neck shapes, how it changed, you no know, stability, all of those kinds of things. But today we're just talking about sound and interestingly enough, how that affects the sound. Uh, if you're looking at a guitar and deciding whether you want to have a guitar with forward shifted bracing, uh, st our standard location for the bracing or even rear shifted bracing. So I brought a few of these guitars with me. Uh, so first, for argument's sake, Again, these are all going to be, call them D18 style. So mahogany back and sides, spruce top. Uh, this specific example that I have right now is our standard bracing, right? So we'll call it in the middle for argument's sake. So uh, I'm just gonna play a little bit of each instrument and uh, you can kind of get your own uh, ears around what you hear and I'll kind of try to describe what it is that these things are doing, so. Before I say anything about it, let me grab one of our other most common, this is, looks like I just pulled the same guitar up, right? So again, mahogany back and side spruce top. This has forward shifted bracing. So I'll play the exact same thing. So right off the bat, what you may notice between those two guitars, I mean, they both sound fantastic. The forward shifting is gonna give you a little bit more of a boomy bass sound, right? Um, I don't wanna say louder, but it definitely makes that harmonic and that tonality a little bit more present um, over the course of the entire range of strings. But especially on that low E string, you'll definitely hear that boom a little bit. Now, in complete contrast, We've talked about forward shifting and our standard shifting. Uh, this is sort of the uncommon one of the bunch, 
but I'll tell you right off the bat, it's my personal favorite. Um, doesn't mean that the other two are bad in any way, just completely different. This works a whole lot better, I've found, for my playing style. So again, I'm gonna play the same thing, see if you hear a difference. See, now right away for me, I can feel the guitar to me seems more responsive, again, for what I'm playing. All of those bass lines are there, all the harmonics are there all throughout, uh, but it seems a little bit more articulate. And I can actually, like the guitar feels more alive in my hands. I liken it to a piano. Um, every time I play a guitar with rear shifted bracing, it's the, the experience that I sort of get with it. Like it has a resonance, a different kind of resonance. So uh, what's the point of all of this? Well, it's not necessarily to show that any one thing is better than anything. It shows that, um, in my opinion, you know, some of the changes that we've made over 180 plus years of guitar manufacturing do sort of change the way that the guitars sound. But again, we have that tone thread. So they maintain a lot of the same characteristics, a little bit of a different uh, timbre, we'll call it, uh, a little bit of different response. But hey, you know, just like everything else, you got to figure out which works best for you. But this is a really cool illustration to show that like even changing something like that, how it changes how the guitar kind of rolls. Now, as far as finding a guitar with rear shifted bracing, there aren't many. Uh, we've made the Dan Tominsky signature model that had the rear shifted bracing and maybe a few others besides. Uh, you'll find some vintage guitars, a few vintage guitars from the 1950s that have that, uh, but it disappeared pretty quickly. So. Uh, one, some of the guitars that I've actually custom made, I do the rear shifted bracing for myself. So you may have to check out our custom shop uh, to talk to them about uh, getting a guitar with rear shifted bracing. But hey, just like changing the strings, just like changing saddle, just like changing the nut, all of these things can affect the tone. Doesn't make anything better than anything else. It's always what works for you. So get out there, experiment, have a good time. Uh -huh.